My name is Melissa Carvalho, and I'm the Vice President in the Cybersecurity Practice at RBC. In my role at RBC, I actually manage a team of 250 people, and I manage all of the cybersecurity incidents that have to do with something called identity. And so what I look at with identity is I look at things like biometrics, passwords, single sign-on, what access you have, and not only for our employees, we have about 88,000 employees, but we have 17 million customers globally. I work um, as a Canadian ambassador for a global nonprofit organization called Women in Identity. And what Women in Identity do is they believe in um, systems that are built for everyone should be built by everyone. And so it's really looking at bringing diversity and inclusion into the IT space, specifically with cybersecurity. I have always wanted to be a teacher. Um, for as long as I could remember, that's always what I wanted to do. Uh, I went to Queens. I did my Bachelor of um, Science in both Mathematics and Computer Science, and then my last year in Teachers College. Uh, in my last year of Teachers College, I was walking around a career fair, and an organization, I think around October, uh, interviewed me and offered me a role in cybersecurity. And what they said was, we think it's going to be a hot field, and so many years ago, it, it sounded like it was a good opportunity, and they were going to give one role to a man, one role to a woman, all across Canada was a large consulting organization. And so um, I took the job in around October, November, and I still had my teacher's college year to finish. And so um, it was an interesting year. It happened to be Y2K. And so I thought, why not? Let's just try it. Go into um, computers and technology and then always just go back into teaching. And to be honest with you, I still pay my Ontario College teacher's dues because I still plan one day to go back into teaching. From a teaching degree and learning experience, there were so many benefits of that through both my RBC and my Women in Identity experience that I take value and benefit out of. Uh, one of the things is just communication skills, talking to people, working with people, learning styles. I managed 250 people in my organizations and one of the things that I was taught was different people have different learning styles. I find that what I get to do in my role is teach my staff and it's helped me grow one of the best teams around. We're a thriving team. A lot of people in cyber and tech just talk about tech. They don't necessarily work with people and build and grow teams, and so education experience has really benefited in that. I find that everything I do, whether it be in a meeting or on the stage, it's as though I'm teaching. I feel that every part of meeting I partake in or event I, I partake in, I have to give something back. I have to make sure that people get some benefit out of it. And so I try and I grow um, people. I think the program taught me to think outside of the box, which is not something I got in the previous degree that I did at Queen's. That was more of a traditional learning. So you learned um, subjects and topics. The education program taught me that every idea was a valuable idea and whatever I wanted to do put my mind to it and I, it could be possible. And so that's something that I've taken throughout my career. I leverage at any point, um, thinking outside the box and encouraging people to do so. I think another thing that, that I learned through the, the program is listening to everyone's viewpoint. So stopping and hearing what they have to say and the diversity of thought actually benefits us as we move forward. Um, so to not always go with one view. I think the advice I would give is every time opportunity knocks, walk through that door. Just because you never know where it's going to take you and it doesn't mean that if you go into teacher's college that you have to go the traditional path. 